Excel's fantastically useful undo feature enables you to reverse an action when you've made a mistake. It's only possible to undo the previous hundred actions. Sometimes you might undo an action and then change your mind. Redo will step through the operations in reverse, in effect undoing the undo. Before we can start this lesson, you need to close down Excel. This means that there will be no actions to undo or redo when we start the lesson. So I'll close down Excel and then reopen it. And I'll open the sample file for this lesson, which is the world's fastest cars 8. I'm going to begin by adding a few actions to this worksheet so that we can see how Excel can undo them. So I'll click on the World Cars tab, click in cell A17 and type the text USA Cars into the cell. And I think I'll boldface this as well. So Home tab on the ribbon, Font Group and Bold. Now I'll move down two rows to cell A19 and I'll copy the header row from row 3. So I select row 3, right click and copy. I'll click in cell A18, right click and paste. And let's now add the two American cars, that's the Shelby and the Celine, in rows 19 and 20. So I'll select the Shelby row and copy, row 19 and paste. The Celine row, that's row 7 and copy, and I'll click in row 20 and paste. Now that we've done a few actions, let's look at how the undo button can be used in order to remove those actions. The undo button is on the quick access toolbar at the top left of the screen. And if I hover over the undo button, you can see it's actually a split button with two halves. For the moment, we'll focus on the left hand half of the button. We'll be visiting the right hand half in just a moment. So I click undo once and the Celine disappears. That was the last action. Then I pasted the Shelby, so I'll click undo again and the Shelby's gone. Click again and the header row's gone. Once more and USA Cars is no longer boldfaced. And once more and the text USA Cars has disappeared. And notice also that the undo arrow has now greyed out. To show that, there are no more actions that I can undo. Now I'm going to redo. The redo button is next to the undo button. Once again it's a split button, but we'll focus on the left hand part of the split button for the moment. I click redo once. When I do, I expect the text USA Cars to appear. I'll click now, and there's the text. When I click again, I'll expect USA Cars to become boldfaced. I click again and that has happened. The next click should bring in the header row. I'll click now and there's the header row. The next click should bring in the first USA car. I'll click now and there's the Shelby. And the next click should bring in the Celine. I'll click now and there's the details of the Celine. Now as well as being able to undo or redo a single action, you can also undo or redo multiple actions, and that's what the right hand side of the buttons is for. Let's undo multiple actions now. I will point the mouse cursor to the right hand side of the undo button and then click. And you can see all of the actions there. Starting at the bottom I typed USA Cars into cell A17, I boldfaced, and then I pasted first the header row, then the Shelby, and then the Celine. Let's undo three actions. That was the pasting of the header row, the Shelby and the Celine. I've pointed to the third paste action and I'll now click and all of those rows have disappeared. And now let's look at the multiple action redo button. Once again I'll click on the right hand part of the redo button and I can see that there's just those three paste actions that it's possible to redo. First I'll click the first one, that's pasted the header row, and now I'll point to the second to redo two actions, 
and paste both car details. Now you may have noticed that when I hovered over the undo button, a shortcut key was revealed, Control plus Z. And when I hovered over the redo button, another shortcut key, Control plus Y was revealed. It's very useful to remember the Control Z shortcut key because it works across all other Office applications such as Word and PowerPoint and it's a key that you'll find you use almost all the time. So let's press Control Z now. When I press Control Z I expect the Celine row to disappear. So Control Z to undo. Now the Shelby, Control Z. The header row, Control Z. The boldface, Control Z. And the text USA Cars, Control Z. And now let's redo using that other shortcut key, Control Y. So Control Y, USA Cars text. Control Y again, boldfaced. Control Y, header row. Control Y, the Shelby details. And Control Y, the Celine details. Before ending this lesson, we'll just tidy things up a little by removing the rows that we added. I'll select rows 17 to 20, right click and delete, and both the rows and their contents have been deleted. And all that remains is to save your work, and I'm going to save with the new name, The World's Fastest Cars 9. And as usual, I'll save to the folder above, my sample files folder. I click the Save button, and you've now completed Lesson 3.8, Use Undo and Redo.